The same thing actually applies to you guys as well. If you find yourself not being able to sup y'all, today we're going to be talking about the best intermittent fasting schedule for night shift workers. Whether you're a nurse, a construction worker, doesn't matter. Whatever job you have, this applies. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so the best intermittent fasting schedule for night shift workers, no matter what job you have, is it depends. Let me explain. See, we have two types of people, all right? The first one are people that work night shift, obviously, that tend to get hungry fairly quickly. And then the second type of person is someone who I categorize myself as people that work night shift that can go long periods without eating. Depending on which type of person you are, if you're the type of person who works night shift and and gets hungry fast, no pun intended, you need to accept the fact that unfortunately, because you get hungry pretty fast, you can't actually do intermittent fasting. I know that sucks to hear, but it's the truth because intermittent fasting is something that requires you to go long periods without eating. And if you can't do that, technically you're not suited for fasting. But what you gotta do from there is just be in a caloric deficit, count your calories or just eat healthy. That's pretty much what you gotta do. But even with that said, if you were able to survive a little bit when doing intermittent fasting, the best schedule for you guys, I feel, would still be 16-8. That's pretty much as easy as it gets. But like I said, if you can't fast for at least 16 hours, I would just lean towards learning how to count your calories or being aware of the foods that you're eating. But if you are the second type of person who can go long periods without eating, such as myself, honestly, I would go 19-4 or 24. There's nothing particularly special about those two schedules. Those two are just two schedules that I personally do and alternate between and it helps me stay at my ideal weight plus the fact that I'm able to go long periods without eating while still being able to work my night shift with ease. So that is what I recommend for you guys. But if that too is also somewhat difficult, just lower the fasting window by like an hour or so and see how you feel from there and work your way up from there. But the same thing I said about the first group of people that can't go that long without eating, the same thing actually applies to you guys as well. If you find yourself not being able to stick to those two schedules that I mentioned and surviving a long period of time without eating, you guys also have to make the same decision between actually doing intermittent fasting or learning how to count your calories and just eating healthy. If you work night shift, you can either choose between doing 16-8 or 19-5 or 24. At the end of the day, just listen to your body, see how it feels, and then go from there. But anyway, that's all I got to say about that. And if you guys want to know the best intermittent fasting plan for weight loss, be sure to check out this video right here. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video or are new to the channel, consider subscribing if you haven't already and tap that notification bell so that you never miss out on any future videos. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you found it helpful and comment down below letting me know. Do you guys work night shift? If so, what schedule do you follow? And with that said, I'll see you guys next time.